10 Home Remedies for Silky Smooth Feet Have you sworn off open-toed shoes or sandals because of the embarrassing state of your feet? Well, you can easily take care of the problem of dry, cracked heels with the help of some common household items. Listerine and vinegar An unusual combination, to say the least, but let me explain. Listerine contains thymol and alcohol, which help fight toenail fungus, repair cracked feet, and treat plantar warts. Vinegar, in turn, softens dry and dead skin because of its mild acidity. So when combined together, they make the perfect duo for smooth, healthy feet. To get in on this action, combine one cup of Listerine, one cup of white vinegar, and two cups of water. Soak your feet in this mixture for 15 minutes. Then, take your feet out and scrub them with a pumice stone to remove any dead skin. After that, rinse your feet with clean water, pat them dry, and moisturize. Do this once a week until you get the desired results. Rice flour, honey, and vinegar Rice flour exfoliates, purifies, and remineralizes the skin. And honey is a natural antiseptic that helps heal cracked feet. Throw in some apple cider vinegar and your feet will be pampered with one of the best natural treatments out there. First off, make a scrub by mixing 3 tablespoons of rice flour, 1 tablespoon of honey, and 2 to 3 drops of apple cider vinegar. Stir well to form a thick paste. Next, soak your feet in lukewarm water for about 10 minutes. And then, gently scrub the paste all over your feet to remove dead skin. Repeat this process two to three times a week, and you'll be busting out those cute flip-flops sooner than you think. Banana Surely you have a couple of bananas on your kitchen counter, right? And to think you've been walking around on dry, cracked feet while the cure has been right in front of you this whole time! Bananas are a natural skin moisturizer. They also contain vitamins A, B6, and C all of which help maintain the elasticity of the skin and keep it hydrated and soft. Just mash two bananas into a smooth paste. Make sure the bananas are ripe, because unripe bananas contain acid that's not good for the skin. Then gently rub the paste all over your feet, including around the nail beds and toes. Keep it on for 20 minutes and then rinse your feet with clean water. Try to repeat this every night before going to bed for two weeks or until you're satisfied with the results. Honey Honey is added to all kinds of masks and scrubs, but it does a perfectly good job on its own, too. You see, honey is a natural moisturizer, drawing water from the inner tissues to the outer layers of the skin. This shift of fluids creates a plumping effect that helps the outer skin heal. To prepare this magic remedy, simply add one cup of honey to a tub of warm water. Then, soak your clean feet in the honey water and massage them for 20 minutes. After that, gently exfoliate your skin using a pumice stone. Finally, pat your feet dry and apply a thick foot cream. It's better to do this regularly before going to bed. Consider it a nightly pampering ritual. You deserve it! Vegetable oil The skin is happy to absorb vegetable oils. Most of them contain lots of vitamins like A, D, and E, which help nourish the skin and promote cell renewal. If you want to see the amazing effects for yourself, wash your feet thoroughly, pat them dry with a soft towel, and apply a thick layer of vegetable oil to your heels and toes. The best way to do it is to leave it on overnight, so don't forget to put on a pair of clean, comfortable socks if you want to spare your bed sheets. Make this part of your bedtime routine, and your feet will feel as smooth as a baby's bottom. Vicks Vapor Rub Vicks Vapor Rub is an emollient, which means it traps and keeps moisture in the skin, thus making it soft and moisturized. The menthol and eucalyptus found in this ointment provide a cooling effect. So before heading to bed, apply a generous layer of this stuff to your feet. Massage them for 5 minutes and then put on some comfortable socks. It's even better if they're made of cotton. Don't forget to wash your feet with lukewarm water in the morning. You can do this daily or once a week depending on your preferences. 
Baking Soda Baking soda is a powerful exfoliant, and that's exactly what the dry skin on your feet needs right now. It removes dead cells and has anti-inflammatory properties as well. Moreover, baking soda can neutralize foul odors. To try it, add 3 tablespoons of baking soda to a tub of lukewarm water. Mix it well until the baking soda dissolves. Soak your feet in the final mixture for 15 minutes. Once that time's up, remove your feet and scrub gently with a pumice stone. Then, simply rinse your feet with clean water and dry them with a clean towel. Repeat this treatment twice a week. Aloe Vera Gel Aloe vera is well known for being a true miracle for the skin. And, as it turns out, the skin on your feet is no exception. Aloe vera contains vitamins A, C, and E, all of which are antioxidants. At the same time, it has tons of other elements with anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, and pain-killing properties. Aloe vera also helps in wound healing. Dang, is there anything this stuff can't do? So, how should you use it? First of all, soak your feet in warm water and scrub them with a pumice stone to remove dead skin. Secondly, pat them dry and apply a thick layer of aloe vera gel. Put on some cotton socks and head to bed. Wash your feet with lukewarm water the next morning, and you're done! Repeat this every night for 4-5 to five days to see the results. Vaseline and Lemon Juice Another strange combination your feet will enjoy. Start by soaking your feet in warm water for about 20 minutes. Rinse, pat dry, and add 3 to 4 drops of freshly squeezed lemon juice to 1 tablespoon of Vaseline. Mix it well and apply this concoction to your heels and other cracked parts of your feet. Put on a pair of wool socks and let it stew overnight. Then, wash your feet in warm water the next morning. Vaseline basically acts as a moisturizer, and the citric acid in lemon juice promotes skin peeling and cell renewal. Use this combo regularly, and your feet will look beautiful every morning. Epsom Salt Epsom salt reduces inflammation and softens the skin. The sulfates in it help flush toxins and heavy metals from the cells, easing pain and driving out harmful substances from the body. Prep is a piece of cake. Add half a cup of Epsom salt to a foot basin of warm water. Stir it well and soak your feet in it for 15 minutes. Then you can do some additional scrubbing to remove dead skin. Repeating this two to three times a week will be enough to see a change. Do you have any of your own foot care secrets? Don't be stingy! Leave them in the comment section below! Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends! Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to stay on the bright side!